Well, good morning. I am in Langkawi and I just picked up my motorbike, which is going to be the transportation for the entire trip here. And I've got a new Honda Spacey, and it is uh, not the best bike I've had, but it was a very good deal. So bikes are a little bit more expensive here than in Indonesia, so they're 30 ringgit, which I believe is mats. It works out to be about $7.10, whereas in Indonesia you can get one for about $4.50 a day. So it's a little bit more expensive, but in Langkawi, it's a good deal, so I'm happy with that. And uh, check out the bike. Just a nice red color. Comes with the GoPro mount, which is great. And look at that, the Honda Spacey. Nice red helmet. What's interesting about these bikes is the older they are, the mo more comfortable the seat is. I've tried a ton of different Honda motorbikes on my trip, and the newer they are, the worse the seats are the less comfortable, which I don't really understand because as you make newer and newer products, you'd think they'd get better, but that is definitely not the case. I don't know what they're doing over there at Honda, but the older bikes are much more comfortable if you're looking for a comfortable bike. All right, so let's go explore the beautiful beaches of Langkawi today. Let's get after it. Man, is it beautiful out here. The landscape is like Thailand because Thailand is extremely close to here. I think Langkawi is about as far north in Malaysia as you can actually get. And if these mountains right here were not in the way, you could definitely see mainland Thailand, which is pretty cool. So closest that I've ever been to Thailand and it is really, really stunning out here. I'm always just blown away by how these sheer mountains come straight out of the ocean and uh, it's just really cool, so just checking it out. I am on the uh, northeast tip of Langkawi right now, rode the motorbike up here. And the motorbike is funny because the gas gauge just does not work at all. So it basically just reads empty even though it's not. So that should be interesting. Uh, hopefully I can avoid getting uh, stuck without gas because here, unlike Indonesia, no one on the side of the road is selling petrol. So if I were to run out of gas, that's a little bit bigger of a situation here, so I'm gonna be careful about that. But now it's lunchtime, so let's go get some lunch. Well, this is convenient. Many of the same terms in Indonesia for food are the same here, so uh, that makes things easy. I, up until now, I've been eating with the guy that I'm staying with, so he's been ordering for me, but uh, this is my first experience ordering from uh, a menu, and it's all pretty much recognizable, so that's good and uh, makes things easy for me. Well, it seems that you can get a good meal here for about five to 10 ringgit, depending on what you get. And the conversion rate is $1 to 4.22 ringgit. So I just spent eight and a half ringgit and I uh, got a good meal and it's, you know, two bucks. So perfect amount of money to spend on a meal. And now I am just uh, kind of hanging out in the shade because it is very, very hot today. Nice and humid and uh, I'm just trying to take it easy, so I think I'm gonna go explore some more beaches. Well, it's been kind of an exploration day. Every time I get to a new place, I, I'm always kind of trying to figure out what's going on, get my bearings, and basically just find what to do. So that's been today, so I'm sorry if the video's been a little bit different than normal. And speaking of which, the videos as of lately have not been up to my personal standards for quality. So I've been thinking today, because I was riding the motorbike a lot, that I'm gonna change my schedule, change up my strategy a little bit so that I can make better content for you guys. The perfect example were my Nusa Panita videos. And because I was doing a video every day, two of the videos should have probably been grouped together to make one monster video that would be a great guide for when you go to Nusa Panita so that you don't need to be following along every single day and you can just watch one video. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna try and make more content that's 
uh, focus to actually helping you rather than making just a lot of content. In order to do that, my schedule needs to change because I cannot film and do everything in one day. So I'm thinking now I'm gonna be posting every two to three days just one video that's gonna be more helpful for you guys if you were to come to these locations. I'm gonna still keep them in a similar style because I think talking to the camera is an effective way to go. Every now and again, I'll switch it up and do a uh, different, more scripted piece, but I'm enjoying this, so uh, I think that'll be the, the format, but the content itself should be better, give me more time to edit, and I've been kind of neglecting that part lately because there's a delicate balance between editing and sleep, and I cannot function without sleep, so gotta get the sleep, but I also gotta do good edits, so this will help with that. But yeah, so basically I think uh, this will be the beginning of Vlog 2.0. Better for you and me in that the content is going to be more helpful for you, and it's going to be better and more fulfilling for me to make because I can actually put my heart and soul into each video and not feel the pressure of needing to get it out by a certain time. I think vlogging every day is great and I think it's a really good exercise in being uh, very diligent and persistent, but my personal time for doing it every single day, for the time being at least, has come to an end. I'm going to focus on making very high quality content that is super helpful for you guys and I hope you enjoy it. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you think this is a good idea, what you'd like to see in these new videos. Just let me know. Other than that, I have just grabbed my own little slice of tropical paradise out here. I just got to this little rock right here and I am going to sit here, watch the sunset and fly the drone a little bit and just enjoy the rest of the day because Langkawi is super beautiful, the beaches are amazing and uh, I'm really excited to get after it and make the very first of these new videos for you guys here starting tomorrow. So look forward to that in the future. And please do leave a comment about what you wanna see because that will definitely help me shape the future of the channel, the future of what will be shown, and if there's a specific place that you wanna see me go as well. I'm always looking for recommendations. That's actually how I got to Langkawi was a recommendation by Callie's mom. So uh, let me know. Comment section is great. I'm always reading comments and I'd love to get the conversation started down there. <music>